A lot of times we start with a design, which is the plan for the homeowner. Doesn't mean that you have to hire a contractor, but it gives you a plan to go off of, especially if you're a do-it-yourselfer. Hi, I'm Colleen Jones. And I'm Sean Jones. And we're with Soulscapes. Our mission as Soulscapes is to create functional, sustainable landscapes that are conducive to the environment we're in. Here in Salt Lake City, we have many environments to contend with, from high alpine to low valley. We've been working in the valley for 25 years, so we know what soil types in what area, what we're working with. Every site is different. The water needs, the wind, the exposure, the soil temps change. It's important to consult a professional before you implement something like this. That way you can plant it properly, you can water it properly. The first thing you need to have when you're starting a project is a plan. What we do is we can sketch the site, decide what plants are going to work the best with the water use and the soil, mostly using native plants and low water use plants. Gotta have a plan, man. Sweet. <laughs> We're about to do a complete remake of this yard here in Sugar House. It is what we call the local scapes type of design. We'll be removing all of the grass. We'll be creating an outdoor living space and planting water-wise plants with proper drip irrigation. Once the demolition is started and we've taken out the shrubs and the grass, we're gonna have her deck expanded so she has a larger living space with a fire pit and her patio enlarged. Now the outdoor living space is extremely important. What it does, especially with the fire pit, is bring us back to the front yard. And that's where you meet your neighbors. Once that's implemented, we have somebody coming in to specialize in metal work and he will weld our metal boxes, retaining walls, on site. And once the walls are on site, at that point we can bring in new garden soil and do some proper plantings. Once the plants are in, we think about the drip that we want to put in because we will take out the existing sprinklers, put in good drip so the plants get proper watering. And on a landscape like this, what we call water-wise, it's important that you use proper drip irrigation. Sometimes we want to cheap out a little bit, but then the drip is a continuous problem. So we tend to use the Netafin drip, which is a quality product and lasts forever.